In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve, graph, and give interval notation for a very involved inequality. The nice thing about inequalities, however, is that they will solve exactly like we solve linear equations, with the only exception being if we multiply or divide by a negative, we must flip the inequality symbol. So if we treat this like any equation, just balancing through the less than sign, we know we must first start by distributing through parentheses as we simplify each side of the equation. This gives us 6x minus 12 plus 4x is less than 12x minus 28 plus 8. We then must combine like terms on each side of the equation to simplify it more. We get 10x minus 12 on the left side, and on the right side, we get 12x minus 20. Now we'd like to get the variable on only one side of the inequality. Let's move the 10x, because it's smaller, by subtracting 10x from both sides. This gives us negative 12 is less than 2x minus 20. We now have a two-step equation, which we can solve by adding 20 to both sides, giving us 8 is less than 2x, and finally, dividing both sides by 2, giving us 4 is less than x. We have solved the inequality. We are now ready to graph the inequality and then list it in interval notation. As we graph the inequality, we know we must start at 4 with an open circle because it's strictly 4 is less than x. There is no or equals to. Be careful here. We need to graph how x is related to the 4. Because the inequality opens to the x, the x is the greater value, meaning we need to shade towards greater values. This is off to the right. Notice the inequality symbol seems to point in the opposite direction. However, we cannot think of the inequality symbol as an arrow representing the graph because if the variable is on the opposite side, it will throw this process off. Rather, we must consider that the x is the greater value, because it opens to the x. Because x is the greater value, we need to shade towards greater values. We are now ready to list this graph in interval notation. Interval notation starts with the smallest value at 4, with a curved parentheses, because it's strictly greater than, comma, the graph goes off forever to infinity, which always gets a curved parentheses. We now have our solution in interval notation. In other words, any number we pick between 4 and infinity will make this original inequality a true inequality.